Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I have a treat for you. This is a brand new floor plan, a brand new brand. This is the 2024 Corterra 3.0. And for the first time, I am down at the Heartland Production Facility, down at their photo bay, and I've got a little guest star here for you. Hey guys, I'm Trent Brigner, product manager over at Corterra. Wanted to give you a little bit of a backstory on how the Corterra came. So. Core in Latin means heart, terra in Latin means land. So we put it together, got the core terra. So you're gonna get the core of the Heartland camping experience with this unit. All right, so as usual, the floor plan and the specifications will pop up on the screen. You can also find those down in the description, but let's go ahead and head on inside and get this thing started. All right, guys, so before we head on inside, just wanted to show you a quick little 30 second glimpse here of the outside. And I actually got the opportunity, not only did I get the production manager here for the kind of the intro, but I also have the product specialist, one of their reps here on the inside, but let's go check it out. Welcome to my Corterra. Let's go ahead and check out the inside. <laughs> That's awesome. So what's amazing about this floor plan and Corterra brand as a whole is that you're going to immediately notice these LED bat and strip lighting. These are 100% dimmable, really easy on a switch. You can bring them down, you can bring them up, set the mood to however you like. So it really just kind of sets that ambiance. It really has that luxury feel in here. And it's nice too because you can actually do the same thing in the bedroom as well. So those, cool. those bedroom lights are also on that dimmer switch. Some really amazing features on the inside of this coach, let alone just from the aesthetic of it. I love the way that this looks and the way that this feels. It's very warm and inviting, but you do have the solid surface countertops throughout the coach. So you do have that in the kitchen area, as well as across from the kitchen. And then right across in there, that's where you're gonna have your appliances. So you will have your 30 inch over the range microwave right there. You have your residential style oven down below with three gas burners up top. So really just that functionality of camping up here. Whip up all the fixings. Exactly, exactly. Do you know the size of this oven? I mean, it looks like you could fit in probably a good-sized little chicken. Yeah, it's, it's definitely got the size. So it's not it's not your standard size oven for, for an RV. It's for sure. It's more that residential feel to it. Um, next to it, you have your large refrigerator as well. So you got the 16 cubic foot refrigerator. Oh, yeah. That has that huge space. And then down below, you do have the two independent drawers for extra free freezer space so those deep deep drawers down there so whatever you're camping with you know that you're always going to have all the food and necessities that you need no doubt about it and that's going to be 12 volt too correct correct yes sir yes sir cool. and then kind of coming over here to the entertainment area you do have the smart tv so you're going to have all of your apps already built into the tv and then you do have the very large um, fireplace down below that really sets that ambiance that we're trying to accomplish with corterra but really the cream of the crop of this guy is going to be the extra storage back behind so what's also nice about that fireplace is it's going to put out roughly enough heat to heat up about 500 square feet of rv so in something this size it's going to really mitigate the cost of propane you know down at the campground take advantage of that free electric plus on top of that not only does it put out a lot of heat but it also looks beautiful there's going to be four different color settings so you have kind of this bluish white glow you're also going to get an orange it's blue, white, red, orange, I believe, right? Correct, yep. You and then a it. setting that goes up to 100 degrees as well. Yeah, so that you can set the mood however you'd like, yep. Um, to kind of piggyback off that hidden storage, you also have hidden storage on your end cables here too. So just no wasted space in this camper. We know that people are gonna be camping with a lot of their accessories, a lot of their stuff, so we wanna make sure that they have that capability of storing things. Sure. This, love the way that this the sofa looks. So that's got that residential feel to it, that, that good, um, kind of that warm color, that chocolate color to it. But the really cool feature with these two is that you actually have the built-in cup holders and the USB chargers in there. Yeah, I like that, how that hides. Exactly, yeah, so when you're, when you're camping with your kids or if you're watching a movie at night, you can always make sure your phone is charged. For sure. This does convert into a sleeper as well. So if you have extra people camping with you, you do have that extra room. This will sleep three to four comfortably. Do you wanna go ahead and pull it out and show people? I'm sorry, I get a little work on it. I'm messing with you, I'm messing with you. And then just right across from it too, you do have these, these do recline. So these are those pull out recliners. So when you are watching that movie, you can really, you can really set, set the mood and really enjoy watching that movie. Are those flip out cup holders here too, you said? They are, correct. Yep, so you have the flip out cup holders on both of these. 
Now it's been requested to me that people like to see the size of it. So I'm gonna sit down in this Go chair here real quick. And if you guys haven't seen my video before, I'm six foot, 300 pounds, hopefully soon 295. I've been saying it for, <laughs> well, two years now. So I'm working on it, but it's a struggle. But I'll flip it out and get it back to the man. Yes, absolutely. And so kind of continuing with that hidden storage and that extra storage right here in our dinette, this actually lifts up. So you actually have a drawer underneath here where you could put more utensils or whatever you want to store in there. Yeah, that's the cool, really cool. The cool thing about this too is when you extend this out, this actually flips out. It's got a magnet that's holding it in place and then this will come down nice and easy. So it'll extend that space. So if you're, if you're playing cards at night or if you have more people that are traveling with you, you have more space to eat and converse. Oh yeah, euchre awesome. and breakfast nook. Exactly. And then you also have pretty good slide height here too. So how tall are you? I'm 6'3". Yep. You're 6'3"? Yeah, so these, I, could, I could fit in here pretty comfortably. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty nice. I usually stick my big old melon head right up in there <laughs> and kind of show it off. But you also get some really nice sized windows, you know, I've seen here. And it looks like every single window also opens up for a nice cross breeze with an emergency exit out the back. But they're all tinted as well. Totally, yep. So you have the max tint, the frameless windows on the outside too. Got the um, old Dracula so shade, baby. Stop the old skin from sizzling. Exactly, yes. Yeah, so you have the blackout shades already built on this unit. The good thing about Corterra too is that there are no options in Corterra, so whatever you see here is going to be our standard build. That's really nice just to have it one way. Exactly. And kind of staying in the slide out here too, I love these lights that we have here. So instead of just your standard little small puck lights, these are more of that residential feel, more of the luxury feel on the inside. So it really just not only gives more light, but it looks better aesthetically. Sure. Absolutely. Really the, the next thing I want to talk about is this area over here. So. Corterra, like I, meant, like I mentioned, its value means luxury. So this will definitely be a luxury piece here. So you, you have the coffee bar down below. We turn this into a, a little bourbon rack right here, but you can do whatever you'd like with it. You actually have the, the wine rack holder already put in place, as well as an additional wine rack up top. So that does have an LED light too. So when you turn the lights off on this, it creates a nice ambiance glow up there. Heck yeah. So it's got that luxury. Yeah. I want to flip this around too. I want to give a shout out to Corterra because I asked them. I didn't even have to ask. They actually offered it. They are sending me home with a little custom bourbon bottle here. <laughs> yes. So I couldn't be more excited about that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Thank Wait, you. Exactly. So no wasted space in the living space in this. Um, that's, that's basically it for, for this guy. If you guys want to go ahead and pop up, pop upstairs and check out the, uh, yeah, absolutely. The, uh, the bedroom there. Let's do that. I'm gonna turn around and give him one more little look at Rennie. Sweet. So this is where you can check all your tank fills as well. Just kind of want to show that real fast. Exactly. Yeah. And then so your we, slide room controls. We put all of our main slides just in one easy access panel there. So that way you're not fishing throughout the coach. And then the I thought this was pretty cool because I've only seen it in really one other camper. You have this dimmer right there, which I already kind of already did it, but I just want to kind of do it again. Puts it in a nice kind of little movie theater mode. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect for, for nighttime watching a movie, watching a game at night. Yeah, exactly. So in the bedroom... I know Hunter had already mentioned that, that large panoramic window up front. And oh, yeah. It really shows off in the bedroom. This is actually the largest window in the entire industry. So having that, that area where you can actually show and look at your campsite, you will have a built-in retractable shade in there, too. So if you do want to close that off for privacy, absolutely you can. Keep those nosy eyes out. Exactly. And I want to point out again, he said he is 6'3", and this yeah. is a mid-profile. And, I mean, you know, you're trimming some hairs up there. <laughs> but I'll tell you, it feels really open in here to be honest with you. Awesome, awesome. It definitely feels spacious and I think a way that we were able to accomplish that is we have that east to west facing bed. So we will have a king size bed in this guy. But then also we have built into the slide, we have our washer dryer prep over there. So you have a larger slide in the front there. So that really just opens up the space. So right in that closet, you're gonna have your washer dryer prep. So like we had mentioned before, no wasted space, everything is utilized. You have massive storage up here. So you have 12 drawers that are all accessible and easy to put all of your all of your camping goodies in there too. Oh yeah. Not only that, you have closets as well. So you'll have a closet built in for both the sides. So if you have camp on camp on independently, they, they can hang easily up, hang up some clothes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hang up some clothes. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, and then right underneath here, yeah, that was cool. You're gonna have a built-in laundry hamper. So it's nice and easy access. Really cool, just extra storage there. You might pull out one of those dressers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just kind of want to take a peek. Here. So tons, tons of storage. 
And then also something to point out too, as you guys can probably notice, this does have an AC in, in the bedroom too. So you have two ACs in this unit. So that is standard. Yeah, I was going to try to say in the video where I was telling you I was going to fumble through it. What is this What is the system called again? Yeah, so we, we have our Trio uh, AC system in here. So we actually inserted a styrofoam uh, system in here that directs the airflow more efficiently outwards. And then we um, put rotaires in here that are actually downward facing. So when the air comes across it, it actually gets forced downward. Okay. So this actually cools 30% more efficient than just your standard two ACs. There you go. So it's amazing. It is. It's amazing. <laughs> Simple camper terms, better output. Better output. Cooler coach. <laughs> yes. In the uh, in the bathroom here, so the master bathroom, I love to I love to point out this uh, circle shape mirror first and foremost. So not only do you have the circle shape mirror, but you actually have a built-in LED behind it. So if you wake up in the middle of the night, you don't want to turn on all the overhead lights. You can easily just access this and that'll work as a nightlight for you. I don't know if you've ever watched any of my videos before, but have you seen what that mirror is perfect for? No. Show off the old bowling gun, yeah. baby. <laughs> Show off the guns, man. Show off the guns. It's the bowling gun. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's the real money maker in the family. Love it. And, and something that I had mentioned before, we do have the solid surface throughout. That includes the bathroom as well. The benefits of having the solid Babe, surface. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. <laughs> the benefits of having the solid surface in the bathroom is... Obviously, this is going to be a place that takes the biggest beating going through. For sure. Um, people are brushing their teeth. If you don't have this actual antimicrobial sorus, the non-porous sorus, that's going to stain over time. This is just like what people are using in their homes. I like that too. Yeah, absolutely. Residential feel in here. Mm -hmm. So, tons of space. Um, this does come equipped with a tankless water heater as well. Okay. So, so that's an on-demand hot water. Oh yeah, heater. the Suburban? Yep, exactly. The Suburban right there. So if you're not familiar with that, that is basically instant heat. And it, it just keeps lasting. Exactly. It just keeps exactly. on going. You're not, you're not having to worry about filling up a tank or... or you also got the like old that. porcelain throne, too. Exactly. Yeah, you got the porcelain down below. It's definitely important. I want to check out this closet. Mm -hmm. Yep, so that's going to be your, your large closet that's actually prepped for, for washer and dryer. And that is something that we are doing standard in all of Cortara floor plans. Yeah, that's nice, because a lot of these mid-profiles don't have that. Absolutely. Well, I mean, that pretty much wraps up this, this beautiful, beautiful coach. I don't know if we want to pop outside real quick. Yeah, I'll pop outside, show a couple things off. Yeah, she looks great. I really love the way that the frameless windows work. Yeah, absolutely. So frameless tinted windows. You also have four point electric leveling. You got a big awning. If you guys missed it at the beginning of the video, uh, I'll drop all the specifications again down in the description. So length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, all that good stuff, along with a link directly to uh, my Funtown landing page. That's also kind of new and exciting for me. If you want to support me personally and my family and want to work with me directly and my team, there is a link directly to that. Uh, so that way, you know, you can do just that. But you got pretty good. You got propane behind this door? You do. Yep. yep. So you have two propane tanks on both sides, one on each side. I also like how you have the magnetic latch right there. Exactly. Yeah. So that snaps out of place. So you're not reaching super low. So again. this is one thing that I noticed, you know, when I was talking to you earlier, that's a lot different. I mean, this is all pretty buttoned up. Yes. Totally finished off. Yep. So you're going to have the same flooring membrane that we use in actually inside the coach. Yeah. That's nice. And then you are welded at all points too? Yes, sir. And then you got the tire link, which is nice. Prepped for a 2001 inverter. Yep. Um, so we will have the Soul 190. Oh, that's stage. right. I remember you told me that. Yep. So we'll have 190 watts solar panel up yep. top already installed. And then you'll have the 30 amp charge controller already installed as well. Perfect. And then it'll be an inverter prep. All right. And you got a couple outlets for a little get the game going on. Exactly. And something that I like to point out too with these outlets on the outside, we actually built our coax cable, cable on the outside too. So that way you don't have to fish wires through the pass-through mm -hmm. just to get it and have the actual pass-through uh, door open to, to run the wires. Yeah, or one of those little cut-through pucks or something that exactly, a lot of the brands yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. So this, this way you can access it easy on the outside. And then you got the Goodyear Endurance tires. Yep, you got it. Yes, yeah, so you, have, you have the Goodyear Endurance tires as well as Dexter 7,000-pound axles on this. So it is that beefier, beefier axle. A little beefy body boy. Beefy body boy. Another prep that we are doing too is going to be our backup camera prep in the rear there. So that's that Furion plug and play. So all the wires are already ran. The customer wants to add a backup camera. It's yep. Easy to install. And that's that four and a half inch screen. You can suction cup right onto your windshield. It's also got a one way mic, which is nice. And then you also got that Lippert on the go ladder system. So if you're not familiar with that, it runs about 300 bucks and it basically attaches right into those two little holes. So that way you can get on the roof, you know, check your seals and check your slides. Absolutely. 
another thing to point out too is we do have the rear accessory hitch down below. So that will be for your, your accessories. So if you want to put a bike rack, you want to put a kayak rack, um, a grill rack, anything like that, it's going to be built for that. Perfect. You got the dumps, are they on the back side or up on the front? Yep, so that'll be on the front. Yep. We have the universal docking station up there, so all of our dumps, all of our so back end, will be back end of that hot water heater. Yep. Back end of the power or of the pass through. Exactly. That's going to be your docking station. So you know your water hookups and then your black tank flush, which if you're not familiar with that, it's basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. And then you also got a spray port. And there's one of those little cups if you don't want to wire anything in. It goes through to the bottom. And then your electric leveling control. Yep, so up front you have your space for your uh, battery housing right there, as well as our vault system. So the vault system is something new to Heartland. So we have all of our wires, main wires that we run through in one spot. Okay. So that allows for ease of access if, if say you have a refrigerator or a microwave that goes out. Instead of having to dig through the coach to find that, that, that wire, you can access it right there. Very cool. Yes, sir. Another thing too on our running gear here too is actually we, have, we do have the Kurt Rotorflex <laughs> pin box is standard. That's nice for the chucking and bucking. Exactly. Yep. Well, all right. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Let me know how I did. I've never done it with a little guest star action, but feeling pretty good about it. Again, my name is Hunter, and this is the 2024 Corterra 3.0. Have a great day. See you.